University of Botakas. Today is the 21st of March 2015. An induction ceremony is holding right here at the crowd. This is a ceremony that holds every year to welcome new students, both from the JAMP and the pre-degree program, into the Department of Theatre Art. Together with the Craft TV crew and I, we are going to be taking you from the glitz, the glamour and the fear. And the fear, yes, it's scary because you do any kind of things you see. We have a fright. The sun shone brightly, signifying it was a good day. And indeed, it was truly a good day for the Department of Theatre and Film Studies, University of Port Harcourt, as it celebrated her annual induction ceremony, which is held to welcome new students from the JAMB and pre-degree program officially into the department. The history of the induction ceremony, according to Mr. Emmanuel D.K. Unwachuku, the induction ceremony was first held in the year 1989, when he was the fifth Atas president. According to him, after the Niftar festival, which held in Jos in 1989, he came back and conducted the first induction ceremony and went as far as bringing back president, past presidents and students of the department to partake in the induction ceremony, which was originally called an initiation. The moment you come in for certificate or uh, diploma, you are automatically going on the stage. They are automatically going to be involved with little professional groups here and there you will perform. So in order not to desecrate the profession, our own induction does not hold on graduation. It holds as you come in, because we call the theatre stage a shrine. It doesn't mean um, that it's a juju center. <laughs> What's the meaning of the English word shrine anyway? It means a place of worship. Because the white men will say, oh, they are the Africans, are they are shrine. They are a place of worship. You remember the Catholic Church called the church and the Yaba, the shrine of St. Dominic. And people said, ah, we said that they were worshipping juju, they are worshipping idols. But it's just a matter of not being enlightened enough to understand the English language. Shrine does not mean a place of ritual, it means a place of worship. So we hold our stage holy, and for that reason we must induct. We used to use the term initiate, but parents got worried. They said maybe we, are in, um, we, are, we, are, we have some kind of call. According to Mr. Ovunda Ihunwa, the induction ceremony is an act inflamed by African tradition and values. And those who believe it to be diabolical are people that are enslaved by religion. I don't even subscribe to the idea of calling it induction. We are theater people. We are very unique people. That is why introducing myself, I did not bother to use any other appendage. I'm a crabite, and crabite will lie remain. Every other thing comes and goes. I won't be coordinator of program for 100 years, maybe one or two years, and somebody else will be appointed. But I'm always a crabite. As far as I got out from here, it is initiation. Whether anybody likes it or not, you see, that is why I always tell Krabites, you must make your theatre as sacred as possible. Let people think what they like. That is why when people come in to see your performance, they respect you for what you have, for what you have to offer them. When you 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 make yourself ordinary, they see you like the social science student or like the English student who comes to the induction. And nobody wants to believe that most times you can have... The, the reason why we do initiation is because the work of the theater is akin to military military training. We, we are not the 9 to 5 kind of people, which is 7 a.m. to the next 7 a.m. So we don't have opening and closing time. So why should we be doing induction when we don't come here at 9 a.m. and close at 5 p.m.? It is initiation. So anybody who wants to think what he wants to think should think. We have just been enslaved by, by, by religion. The idea of ritual means uh, repeated action, okay? Repeated action, same manner, same method. And so because it's something that is done annually, since the inception of the department, it has become a ritual. Well, there is nothing diabolic about the initiation exercise of the Department of Chetna Arts. It is a tradition across the world where theater arts as a discipline is posted. So I think it's more of a social diabolism to you. If you must bring this diabolic thing, it's a charm. 
It is a call to theater artists. It's a way of identifying ourselves and welcoming our younger ones into the fold so that they can be, you know, they can flow in that same spirit. There is nothing uh, uh, hedonic about it. There is nothing uh, fetish about it. It's all about social interaction. It's not a cult. It is not a ritual. Alright, um, what we're trying to do is to uh, welcome our new students into the theatre, right? And because we're theatre at there's every tendency that our teens should be a little different from what others do. It's something that just makes you feel that you have been adopted into a family. Okay, so that with that kind of thing, wherever you meet each other, there's that sense of togetherness, that sense of belonging that we are one. That is just what it means. The, there is no ritual, whatever you see is art, performance, and just the idea of feeling as one. Uh, the induction ceremony of any profession is the point of initiation. That is when you admit the neophytes into the profession. That is when you embrace them and it usually entails laying down the rules and regulations of that profession. In the case of um, theater and film practice, it will involve somebody who is versatile in both disciplines. Somebody who has gotten the kind of exposure in both disciplines and who knows the rules and regulations in the area of practice. And I'm happy that uh, Mr. Joseph Osademe of uh, AIT is handling it because uh, he trained here, you know, with an atmosphere of both disciplines. And he's been out practicing for many years. So he's ably, ably qualified to uh, carry out the induction ceremony. And in carrying it out, I know he's going to lay down the rules and regulations of the performing arts as they pertain to theatre and film. Thank you very much, sir. sir some students like to shy away from the induction ceremony because they feel it's diabolical because of the way it's held. Is there any implication about concerning this? Do they have to face any punishment for not being adopted? Ah, let me say this. They need not worry too much about it. You know, in South Africa, they have what is called age grade induction into manhood, into adulthood. And the idea of seclusion, all of these are symbolic. Attempting to seclude the inductees from the rest of society. Ideally, if we were rich enough, we would have taken them to outside this place, to a film school, to somewhere, uh, maybe to even Lagos, to um, the National Troop rehearsing area, or whatever. But since we are unable to do that, all of these things, the palm front and the rest of them, you take them as symbolic way of excluding the doctors from the rest of society so that they can feel the atmosphere of the induction ceremony. There is nothing fetish about it. If you are an actor and you are supposed to play a particular role that, you know, requires you being a fetish priest, would you play it? People shouldn't bother about this. If you are a Christian, it doesn't affect you. If you are a Muslim, it doesn't affect you. The idea is to create the atmosphere such that you can begin to understand the weight of what you are undertaking. It is a profession. 
Thank you very much, sir. Thank Your you. text from the mouth of the head of the department. This induction ceremony is not just anything, it's something that's important to every theater artist. Thank you very much. Thank you. The induction ceremony is a ritual that every theater artist must go through, and it happens everywhere in the world, how bet in different ways due to cultural differences. In the crab, the induction ceremony uses a set from the African tradition. The inductees are required to wear a white cloth, which symbolizes purity. This ceremony is usually misinterpreted by most as something diabolical because of the way and manner it is carried out. The main ceremony officially started by 7 p.m. with performances by guest artists like Dark View, G Dope and others who threw the crowd with their hit tracks. DJ Slim got the audience hormones spiked by playing hit tracks by various artists. At 7.35 p.m., the opening procession began with rendition of an Ijo song. The student walked to the entrance of the crowd with burning candles, which created a beautiful ambience. <laughs>